All right, guys. Uh, this is a video that is way overdue because uh, you can tell by the news and all that. Uh, Hurricane Harvey came to my neck of the woods, my hometown, and everything. Thank God, everything is safe. But the people in Houston and the other part of my city are Rockport. Uh, or go out to y'all. Hope y'all get everything together because. It is a tragic and the new hurricane coming out, uh, Irma. I just hope everything goes well with that, but gotta go on and tell about the title of this movie. This is my review of the fucking the f oh. Death No Netflix. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's get started with this. First, let me hear by say this. I don't mind. They want to do American adaptation, but make it good. This movie was a piece of shit. And I got I made a list of why this movie is a piece of shit. Here's why: number one, the pacing was way too fucking fast, dude. Like, like the first. 15 minutes it was going fucking fast and for the first time ever it was also boring like oh my god like I don't think that was possible but holy shit y'all did it the first 15 minutes was fucking it felt like it was rushed so bad and it was boring and uh, you can tell about the first 15 minutes of this movie they're throwing everything out the window from lures to everything about Death Note. <sighs> well, let's get started again. The first one I'm going to say is uh, let's get started with the rules of the Death Note. Like in this movie, there's like almost 95 rules. Like what? And you're really worry that much. I don't think they were that much in the original series. Like, it's some of the rules didn't make no fucking sense. I, I do, I'm gonna do a comparison to the original and the movie because they could use stuff for the original and add it to the movie and could have been so fucking badass. The first one I'm gonna say is, uh, if anyone touches the Death Note, they could see the Sigigami. Like Ryuk. So, in a movie, that does not happen. Only Light Burner, not Yagami, for some goddamn. I don't even know. <clears throat> Dude, like, they wasted an opportunity to have other characters interact with Ryuk. Dude, Jesus Christ, about that. Another thing is, in this m movie, if you write down the name of the person who died, it doesn't matter. You had to write down how they died. Like, if, they rich, if you write down the name, they're supposed to die of heart attacks. We don't see that in this movie. At all. And that's going to pull into another problem I have in this movie. is the fucking gore! Why is there gore in a Death Note movie? Why? I ain't watching no fucking Final Destination. This is fucking Death Note. I only see someone getting their half the head decapitated by a fucking ladder in the Death Note movie. No. Like, it's, it's like, oh my god, like, throws up a little bit in there, but half the time I feel like I'm watching a Final Destination movie. Like, no. What kind of shit is that? No. Oof. That is just a big problem with the movie. Oof. But I'm going to start off another one. The, head, or the characters. The only one who killed it in this movie. And Will of the Foe. As we knew. He is perfect. He is perfect. The others. Not so much. Let's get started with uh, Light. Okay. 
Light is supposed to be a genius. The same level as L. You know, I don't think Lowe, L had the same knowledge. In I don't think, I seen the movie twice just to write down these fucking notes. I don't remember that shit. That's how badly I don't remember shit. But yeah, L, no, Light is so, he's a fucking dumbass. Like, what? Light, Yanami is the fucking genius. What made the show is the cat and mouse game that <sighs> they didn't catch that right, dude. Like, come on, dude. Like, and flight, <laughs> like, once he's the first time you see Ryuk, he screamed like a little fucking girl. Like, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Right when that happens, I knew that movie is going downhill. Like, that is not the light we all know. It's not. Mia or Misa, whatever the fuck you call it. C is badly done as well because C is the reverse. In the anime, light. Would merely be oh, fucking can't fucking talk. I so fucking pissed off at this movie. Light was the one that was using Misa, Misa, and the movie Misa was using Light. Like what the? F you don't understand, dude. Like, uh, I don't care. If it's a role of reverse, but she's still a bad character. A fucking children who are drawing killing people. This stupid shit like killing the FBI agents. Spoiler warnings, by the way. See, it, it see his hunger for power. That's what this is. Like that is not her character. Light is the one that's hunger for power. We want to make everything good for the world in his mind. Not Misa. No. Or Mia, what, I don't know, what the fuck. Next is L. I will start up by saying this. The first, I say 15 minutes when you see L, nails it. That guy is perfect. I don't care if he's fucking black. The only thing I have a problem with the character is him wearing a fucking mask. Like, because why? Why are you doing that? He looks stupid, but in this movie, he's a fucking crybaby. Because shit didn't go his way. He, like, ugh. You, you just ruined another infamous character. L. Like, again, like, Light and L, they are had the same intelligence. And they're playing cat and mouse to see who will cast them, cast them first. Like, we don't see that in this. No, moon. No. Oh my god, I'm still. <laughs> It's a piece of shit movie that got all the characters wrong. Like, man, those are just phew. and Ryuk. Okay, I said I love Will Defoe as Ryuk, but the, his character, it's just what? Like, again, like in the, in the anime, like he, the reason why he's stick with L because I mean, like. Fucking Mike, but yeah, the reason why he stuck with Light is because he was bored and he wanted to see some fun, and he was getting that. And this one, he just like doesn't give a fuck. Like he doing this just because uh, I don't even know. They missed a, they missed more opportunities. They couldn't introduce the other Sigami. Like, but no, no. Like, what the fuck were they thinking from doing that? That could have been awesome. Maybe I might do a sequel to this without hope fucking not because it's because apparently people like this movie. I don't know why because the story is doesn't make sense. The, mu the music in here is this what? Like, it doesn't make no sense at all, dude. Like, like there is some death scenes. Like there's some mu music that doesn't add up to. Like what? Like goddamn, like. 
and it's not like they were sponsored by this record company. It's like you need to play this song and this song and this song. That's what this look like, dude. Oh, it's fucking stupid. The, the, the story is worse, and something doesn't make no sense because uh, let's see. The characters they don't make things interesting. Ryuk is probably the only one, like I said earlier. But he, his character is a change overall. Everything else is just why, God, why? Like seriously, oh my God, dude! Like. I give it, I, I give it a shadow of a doubt that it was going to be a good movie. But nope, this movie is a piece of shit. Like, ugh. like the only good anime movie, live action anime movies in the U.S. is fucking Ghost in the Cell, and that. But that's my take on it. But it's not for everyone because they, they it has some problems too. Like, uh. It's catered for the Ghost of the Cell fan. Like, that's not how the way you're supposed to make a movie. Like, that's... That's the way I see with this Death Note movie. Like... It's, like, catered to new people. But the old school fans, like me... It doesn't cater to them. Like, it's just, like, what the hell is going on? It's... I just gonna go over it. The story is a piece of shit. Characters make no sense at all. They're boring as fuck half the time. The gore doesn't make no sense. Why the fuck he put it? The rules of the Death Note just why you have to change it. You lost so many opportunities to make this into a great movie. And oh, the fucking ending. On the movie, the fucking ending. Yes, it's something I will see like doing in the future. But it still just make no sense. Like, dude, he like in this movie is a fucking dumbass, and you suddenly came up with that awesome idea, which I didn't like, but. It doesn't add up to the character. It does not add up to the character. Like I don't know what to say. Like I'm not gonna fucking rate this movie because, ugh, dude. Like there's no reason why. You can tell by my anger why this movie is a piece of shit. Like you guys, ugh. I'm worried so much about other live action anime movies and video games movies. Because right now they're doing a fucking Metal Gear Solid, which I don't mind at all, but because there's so many content, you cannot fuck up on that movie, but it's Hollywood, so I'm kind of fucking nervous. Like, Death Note, it's just. God, dude, it's, this movie is like a fucking teen drama. That's what it is, a fucking teen drama. You know what? Fuck this. I'm giving this a 2 out of 10. Fucking horrible. Fucking horrible. And the people, that's my fucking washer. And the people who love the movie and have not seen Death Note. Please watch the anime series, please. I guarantee you it's gonna be so much better than a movie. It is. And hopefully the only thing this movie will do get more attention to the anime and people will start watching that. I hope that's what's gonna happen. But anyway guys, that's the end of my review. Yeah, sorry it took so long, fucking Hurricane Harvey. And uh, and now it's, I get it back into editing my crass let's play look right now. So stay tuned for that. Like again, I'm sorry. I have to get ready for the fucking hurricane and power went out. But, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Have yourself a great day and fuck this movie.